Uh, the Mystery of Banking was a book that Rothbard published in 1983. Um, and it's a very interesting book, and people have tended to overlook it as sort of a simple exposition or explanation of, of, of money and both its theory and its history. But in fact, it's actually a very important book. Because in that book, what Rothbard does for the first time is to combine, on the one hand, Austrian monetary theory, which was developed by Ludwig von Mises, and which Rothbard wrote about in his great treatise, Man, Economy, and State. But it combined that with the um, mechanics of how the Fed creates money. Um, that had really not appeared in any Austrian book on money before Rothbard wrote in 1983. So uh, he himself said, I combined the hard money tradition of the Austrians and of, of, of the classical economists with the, 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 the modern um, ex explanation of, of how money is created. And he saw that as his main um, contribution. Now, that's in the first half of the book. So he sets out the theory in about five chapters. It's very straightforward. Um, the public can certainly, the, the, the non-economist uh, you know, who is a member of the public can certainly understand what he's doing in those first five chapters. But also, it, it, it is appealing to the economist. It, it does uh, uh, um, uh, show monetary theory in a different light. Uh, it shows monetary theory as simply a part of the exchange economy. Now, in the second part of the book is where he showed how the Federal Reserve actually developed. Actually, he even goes back further than that and talks about the national banking system, which was a statist form of bank banking that was, that was foisted on the economy by Abraham Lincoln um, in 1861, the National Bank Act. So, uh, so Rothbard traces that all up to, to the point where uh, we had the Panic of 1907, and actually before then we had a, um, a crisis in 1893. And he shows how the forces of big business, especially big banking, the Wall Street banks, wanted to centralize the whole banking system and wanted the government to bail them out when they got into trouble from inflating too much. So that is a very interesting story. It's very well told. It's the second part of the book. Um, as professors, we can use the first half of the book if you just want to teach monetary theory. Uh, and the second half of the book could, can be used in an economics course on economic history or even in a history course. Um, in which you're talking about um, uh, the second half of, of the 19th century and how, how money, money developed. And uh, also, uh, in history courses talking about the progressive era, Rothbard shows how the movement to have a Fed was, a, was the same part of the same movement to have big government interference in all types of business, not just in banking, but in uh, railroads, um, food, medicine, and so on.